Stucker has a safe space policy, which is something we're constantly striving towards. And while it's quite complex, um, it basically means that anyone who comes in here won't be discriminated against for any reason uh, and they'll be welcomed here no matter what their lived experience or identity has been. At Stuco, we're trying to build a safer space to ensure that our members and our guests um, won't feel uncomfortable about their lifestyle choices or personal traits. Stuco. I think safe space means acknowledging who you are and realizing that there are power structures in society and we're like, trying to combat them. It's really important that, that people are able to express themselves and able to be themselves, um, even if they belong to um, a, a minority group, say being queer or they've had uh, health issues in the past, um, anything which might be um, marginalised by society. It's very important that they feel at home here. Well, I think Stucco is a really great place for um, self-expression and personal development. I feel like I can express every part of my identity. When you're being yourself, uh, you also have to keep in mind that you make sure that it doesn't hinder upon anyone else. A really important element of safer spaces is the learning aspect. Mm -hmm. It's a space where there's an open-mindedness and people are willing to learn about um, how your behaviour might affect others. I actually do make a kind of somewhat petty point of saying safer spaces as opposed to just safe spaces because inevitably we all have um, problematic things in the way that we speak, the way we behave and so we should recognize that and not just say that you know this is a safe space and we're all done with that. It's an ongoing process and it needs to be considered as such in my opinion. I find that it's really good that we already have like an open dialogue about say like comfort and physical touch and consent and stuff like that because it means that if something does happen that because these conversations already exist people kind of have like more of an understanding about why you might feel uncomfortable or that consent can be different for different people or like different times of the day or different situations and so it will be like you know what I just didn't feel comfortable that time and then people are very happy to like help that and address that and kind of yeah because those dialogues already exist. With parties, I think it's great that, like, because people who live here have this understanding of the sort of environment we want to create, everybody is, like, really sort of, like, aware and vigilant at parties to make sure that if people are kind of doing things that interrupt that safer space, that they're kind of called out so just to make sure that we're all on the same page of trying to create a space where guests and members feel comfortable. When we do certain activities in the co-op, um, such as smoking, it's just really important that we communicate, talk to each other, make sure we know each other's views and make sure that we have explicit um, consent on all matters ranging from substance use, use to sexual activity. Instances where people might feel uncomfortable are less likely to happen here and if they do happen here, um, members and guests are more encouraged and more able to communicate over it and fix the problem. I feel comfortable in Stucco because I know that in this space, I'm not going to get that shit, I'm not going to get to that, I'm not going to have to deal with it. And that's what really um, makes this place more than just a place to live, but a community that I can call home. So it's a lot about individual awareness um, in terms of making a space um, and a community safer than um, you know what you find in the streets. People are going to be careful about your things, it's not just about your responsibility, it's also like a kind of um, right or entitlement for your safety and for others. Because safe space can also be something that people um, tend to tiptoe around and get worried about. You just like always feel as though anything you could say might be wrong, <laughs> and that's that's the one thing that um, I've had to unlearn about safe space. That it it shouldn't be like that. It should be um, it should be open for discussion and just being yeah respectful of each other and, you know. I'm Ricky, I've lived here for just about a year, a year and three months or something like that. Hi, my name's Chris, I've been living here almost a year. Now what?
Hi, my name is Dylan. I've been living in Stucco for two weeks now, and before that, I've been a long term guest. Hi, my name's Sarah. I've lived here for two years. Hi, my name is Murad. I've lived here for a year. Hello, I'm Hayley. I've lived in Stucco.